Hello and welcome to another episode of GM Talks. I hope you enjoy this show. Um, today I'm gonna start uh, on episode one, a small little appetizer on uh, what I will call GM skills. Uh, things you need to master to become a GM. And, um, and today will, uh, and, and, and basically what you need to put in your unconscious competence level. Uh, that sounds uh, very complicated, and it is very complicated, but we all have it. Uh, you have it when you walk, because uh, you can walk without thinking about walking. And, uh, and you have it when you talk, because you can talk without thinking about talking. Uh, and, if you, and you can probably ride the bicycle without thinking about how to ride a bicycle. And if you had to think about how to walk, how to move each part of your, uh, your legs and, and foot and so on, it would be very complicated. But uh, now it's just easy because uh, you learn it so well that it's unconscious. So it's just something that happens to you. And, and, this is, uh, and some chess skills you have to have in the unconscious competence level. And here's why. Uh, because chess is such a complicated game, with uh, there are more uh, possible positions than there are atoms in the universe. So, so you need to to uh, sort of uh, make the work easier for your brain because you're running out of uh, bandwidth very quickly in chess. Uh, and 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 some of the things you just simply just need not to think about. Uh, so even though it's good to think, sometimes it's good to be able not to think because you already know the answer without thinking. Uh, this is uh, what, what grandmasters normally can do. They, when they see a position, then like in, in, in an instant uh, second, they can see, okay, it came from this opening. It was probably like this. Uh, White has a slight advantage, blah, 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 blah. And maybe there's some tactics. Uh, and today it's going to be about tactics, uh, what we call small combinations, small, easy combinations that you should be able, well, if you're at a party and you drink a bottle of wine and you go home and you fall asleep and they wake you up after two hours, you should be able to solve the positions that I, that I will show you here. It's only three positions, so not so, so hard. Uh, you should be able to solve them very, very quickly in less than a minute for sure. Uh, it should just sit in your hands, just like walking or riding the bicycle. So in this position, it's white to move. Um, and uh, and you instantly see, okay, we have a good knight. He has a, a, a bishop. Um, the a rook is attacked. Um, it has to go somewhere. We also see that we um, instantly see that we have this guy going here. Uh, so if we could give a check, it would be mate uh, or it would be very unpleasant. But we also see that if we do this, then the rook, queen will end on c on c8 and then there is no mate anymore. Uh, but we also see some ah there's a check on c8 and blah 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 and and then some somehow uh, the patterns start to to emerge in your brain what if uh, the, the, by the way the rook is threatened and taking is not good because he just takes back and, and there's nothing nothing to see here so but of course uh, you probably saw that now but anyway if you didn't and how to train this is simply to do these exercises over and over and over until uh, they're second nature. That has to be in the unconscious competence level. Uh, you just have to say, ah, it's like bum, bum, and he has to take back, of course, otherwise he's just lost uh, a piece. And uh, check, and it's a fork on the rook, and uh, white is winning. There's no back rank uh, counterplay, there's nothing. Uh, but white is simply winning. Uh, so this was a very simple combination. They have to sit in your hands and they will help your calculation a lot if they sit in your hands because then you don't have to find the pattern. It's, it's already there. So when you're playing, you, you can use your, your energy or your calculation on, on harder things than this one. Uh, we're going to show the text the next game. Um, okay, I, I think I'm just going to flip the board before because you're going to be black, so it will be easier. Um, no, we'll not say this. And here it's uh, black to move. Um, I think it's our game uh, Nikolic versus Topolov or something from Inars. Um, and uh, and what do we spot immediately? We spot that okay, um, there are some pressure. Uh, White has a pawn more. If we 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 count the pawns, yes, it's some Benko or Volgar uh, combination things. But we also see that this bishop is here. We also see that. Actually, Black's, uh, White's king can't move. 
Um, are there are any undefended pieces? We look, we look, uh, not so much. But okay, then we see that the queen is here on a white square and blacks, uh, on, and, and white king is also on a white square. Uh, and, and then we realize, ah, if white, black was able to do this, oops, that was a, not a straight arrow, uh, then, um, then it would be mate. Queen takes h3 is mate. Okay, so if we, the knight is on d4, has to be moved. That's, that makes sense. Then we start, okay, well, we always, if you're looking for combinations or trying to sense there's a combination, you will always uh, go forward. Um, but but okay, you, you say a root knight f2. But the problem is, if you go knight f2, then rook takes f2. Oops, sorry. Uh, rook takes f2, and queen takes a3 is not made anymore. Then you see knight e3, knight takes, and queen takes. But then king d1 because now the knight is blocking the bishop. Hmm. Knight f6, but that gives him time for king h2. It's not too forcing enough. And then. So let me see, is it that simple? Yes, it's that simple. You just go knight e5, threatening the, the queen. It cannot cover h3. It, it has to move or it has to take. And then next move is queen takes h3, check mate. And there's no counterattack on the queen or anything. Uh, so it's basically resigned and uh, Nicholas resigned immediately after knight e5. Um, and and this this is something uh, that would you will see very quickly if you train it, uh, and if you don't train it, it will be very hard to see. So you it has to sit in your hands. You have to have it the the feeling uh, a, there must be. And 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 also when you train your 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 your, your tactics, it, it becomes clear. You get some sort of uh, someone like someone patting you on on the, on the back and say, hey, there's something here. Uh, take a little look. There there's some some dynamics going on. There's some tactics. There are some pieces that that doesn't really work that well together and are, are overwhelmed or something and um, yeah this was a discovered attack right and uh, then we take the next one and we will not save this one either and uh, it's black to move um, and what do we see we see that uh, black uh, have, is missing an exchange but he got three pawns for it uh, we also see that black has a very nice pin on this uh, on this rook here, we also see that black is, is threatening uh, g2, uh, and we see that this uh, this rook cannot move, um, and and uh, that's, that's something. So then we see ah maybe bishop rook takes g2 check and rook takes d 2 and queen takes e3, and we are winning, or are we? And this is uh, a thing with um, with with tactics and combination. You have to calculate all the way to the end as far as you can. And here you have to calculate a little further. Why would uh, rook takes d2 be a big mistake? Okay, I'll show you. Big blunder. New variation. He has to take. And then we see, oops. And and here you should also get this pattern, this Madden pa uh, mating pattern uh, should just be second nature and it's mate. Oops, that was not good. This was not very good. Okay, we'll have to go back. So, and then we uh, will see, ah, but what if we take with the bishop? Then everything is guarded and, uh, and we realize that after this, white is totally lost. Um, uh, and this is, is of course uh, the, the sort of the, the, the pin we are, we are using and if it takes on d2 we can take back first and then take the, the queen and otherwise queen h1 is coming and there's no uh, way to to fix that so it's a mate uh, queen g1 rook ta queen takes d2 which doesn't work so so this is basically some of the gm skills you have to have having these small tactics in your unconscious competence level so you whenever you you face a position like this you just see okay it's of course there are boop, boop, and then you see it immediately um and and um and this the only way to to learn this is by training the patterns just have to sit there and you you don't have to think about it uh, because there's enough to think about in chess and uh, and some of this uh, has to just sit there okay i hope you enjoyed this uh, we will be back with more of uh, gm skills um 
which is one very interesting subject, uh, I, I think, uh, for, from, for a lot of players who want to maybe try to become better or maybe even a grandmaster. Uh, so stay tuned and uh, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.